Hi, my name is Keiko Dickens, and this is my second year doing taiko. Aseka Taiko is UCSD's uh, traditional Japanese drumming group, and our focus is to kind of uh, spread awareness of uh, Japanese culture around the local um, campus and local San Diego area. Oh, I left some of my car. Five. Five. That's fine. We have a couple gigs lined up, I believe. We have one November 6th for Ravel Cup of Culture, and a couple more here and there. We often have um, um, organizations outside of campus as well as on campus contact us, um, and then we schedule performances from there. I think in average practice, um, we stretch and then we kind of do drills that um, enforce our understanding of our basics. But then we go into, at least for the younger members that usually comprise of first and second years in Asayake, um, we do song learning. So the first thing we're going to do is play a section from Taipu on Naname. So I'm sure it can't be that bad. We're going to do sit down, sit down, sit down, 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 down. That's the section we'll be playing. I think it's pretty simple to translate to anime. Okay? Okay. Any questions? The song we're practicing today is Tanoshi, and it means fun in Japanese. And so um, the song is very energetic, and it's a very positive energy. Well, the older members, third and fourth years in Asayake, would critique us and kind of teach us um, new songs that we learned through the first and second years. Here, you're going to bring your right foot to your left as you do. So as you do this, your left hand, you want to do an arm circle. Make sense? One more time. Um, I think for practice, um, my favorite part is very specific. It's like the in-between uh, when we have our water breaks, but sometimes we spontaneously burst into a song that we're learning. And it's very fun to um, casually kind of put together what we've been learning through the practice session. Something that I think I personally didn't realize before I joined was how much we kind of feed off of each other in terms of energy. We have these things called key eyes, which are like verbal expressions of our energy during the song and towards each other. And I kind of took those for granted while watching performances, but once you're in it, those very much help you keep going. And so I really appreciate my teammates using these key eyes to keep us going even when the song itself is very like physically demanding. Is it Nesmi's mouse? Wait, is it not right? Yeah, Nesmi's mouse. Damn it, I thought it was right. Are you ready? Does anyone have announcements as an officer so the officer announces? We're gonna speed it up a little bit. We got three more questions. The actual performance is a big draw for me because it's so fun to perform the piece, kind of see the audience reaction. The performance aspect is a big draw, but it's what I love about the performance aspect is the fact that I get to interact with my teammates and do this on a stage and a performance setting. Uh, they were formed 
in spring of 2002, and they aim to promote Japanese cultural awareness and appreciation of the traditional arts, both within and outside of the UCSD campus, through the art of taiko. The group's name, Asayake, translates to morning glow and refers to the glow of the sunrise reflected in the waters of the ocean. They hope you enjoy the performance they have prepared, and they would like to thank Marshall Palooza for inviting them here today. So give it up for Asayake Taiko! We're just in practice in these gigs so many hours and the experience is so rewarding that I've, I've developed a special bond with the, uh, the team as a whole. I respect each and one of the members and like it's really cool that we get to come together and play music and honor these traditions.